Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Susan Lynn. I'm a psychic and a medium. Today's going to be a short video on politics. And today I want to talk about, I want to talk about Elon Musk. That's what I want to talk about. But every time I want to talk about Elon Musk, my spirit guides say Tucker Carlson. Now, that kind of sort of look alike, but not really. So I'm going to get this Elon Musk thing out of the way real quick so I can talk about Tucker because the guides have been talking about Tucker Carlson for three effing days. Now, Elon Musk, what I want to talk about him is because his he's the owner of Tesla. If you don't know who Elon Musk is, then you're living under a rock. And please send me your address. Hopefully you have a spare room because I'd like to join you. However, Elon Musk is going to be in the news. He's he's in the news because his a judge in Delaware, which is where his business Tesla is incorporated, a lot of businesses are incorporated out of the state of Delaware, has uh, decided that he doesn't get to ha to take this 55 billion, I think. I don't know, a lot of money that I, you know, a lot of mini zeros. He doesn't get to have this bonus. The judge said no. So apparently some of the shareholders came out and said, we don't really think he needs to have this money. We're shareholders. We want to take this to court. And the court said no. Now, reason this is important is because the guides told you a year ago that Tesla, that, that Musk was going to run into trouble. He's going to run into trouble with his shareholders. He's going to run into trouble with the business. I just don't see... Tesla continuing and or some of these other things that he's in charge of, I just see him running into some trouble, okay? This isn't investment advice. I'm not even talking about investment. I'm talking about politics. I think this guy is going to run in a foul. He's going to run a foul of, he's going to be scrutinized more as we go into 24 and 25. His company, his uh, leadership, uh, whatever. I mean, this is just the first big smackdown and it is a big smackdown. I think it really was $55 billion. I really do. So that's a big smackdown. He's really upset. And I guess I would be too. If somebody said, no, you can't have that and slapped your hand off the 55 billion cookie jar, probably make me mad too. However, I'm just telling you, keep your eyes on that space because this man is getting caught up in this toxic masculinity kind of energy, right? Where I think that there's a lot of hand slapping and that might turn out to be like that. And I want to say too, that the energy is going, people are going to be held accountable, even if it's not criminal, like now I'm switching over to some of the politics and some of the politicians, even if they don't get held count accountable in a criminal way, let's talk about Trump. He's being held accountable in these larger ways that is money. The spirit guides told you he's not going to have a gag order. They said he's going to have a gag. What's going to happen is, is that he's going to be money. Money is what's going to really make him shut up. And that is exactly what happened. They tried to gag him. E. Jean Carroll got $5 million, And then he kept running his mouth and they gagged him with 80 plus million dollar fine. And he's been gagged. He has been quiet. The guides told you what's going to make this man shut up is money. And that is exactly what's happening. And I really think in the end result, you're going to see money be the downfall of Trump because I don't think he's going to be around to see a criminal trial. I think this money, the money, uh, the fees, the fines, are going to be what takes him out. It's going to be what limits his health or causes some sort of health issue and becomes the arbiter of justice is what they just said. I would love for it to be justice. I'd love for, it, for us to see these people that commit crimes, laws on the books that they get held accountable. However, I've never really seen him being held accountable in that way. And I think honestly, taking their money, taking their business license, taking their properties is going to be beautiful because it's going to affect the whole family. So now let me switch over to Tucker Carlson. And, and I swear, I would say Elon, they would say Tucker. I would say Elon, they would say Tucker. I didn't know why. I don't really watch the news. Apparently, and I don't really know this except for the guides flashed in front of me on a news 
very, very quickly. Maybe Tucker was in Russia recently, like very recently. I don't care. <laughs> he He's a grown man. He can go wherever he wants, right? There's no crime in that, even though a lot of people are trying to say it's criminal. There's no crime in that. Um, I, is there a crime in that? Anyway, I'm going to get to that because here's the thing. What, before I knew he went to Russia and I kept, I was kind of asking the guides and I wasn't doing it in a very, you know, a uh, pointed way. I didn't really care to be honest with you, but I was just like, why are you continually calling, t saying Tucker to me? Cause I, I don't think about the man. I don't think about any of these people. I really try hard not to think about them. Why are you bringing him into my consciousness? And they said, a woman, again, back to the woman. This is where I think this is very fascinating. A woman is going, there's, there's a me too. It's weird. There's a me too thing. Now, I don't think, I'm not saying, and this is allegedly, and it's for entertainment purposes only. I'm not saying Tucker, I'm not saying that I see that he's going to be in trouble for that. What I see is a woman pointing to him and exposing something that he's done or allegedly has done that could be problematic for him. Now he's already gotten thrown off unceremoniously from Fox News. I mean, I mean, one minute he was there and he said, see y'all Monday. And there was no Monday. And folks, that gives me hope every single day that miracles can still happen. <laughs> so when I think nothing is happening, I think about Tucker saying, see you on Monday. Bye, sucker. You're not going to see you on Monday because you're gone. Okay. These things can happen. So, I, and the guides did tell you, the spirit guides did say he's going to start his own internet business. He is going to be somewhat successful doing that. They, they, they foretold all of that. I'm not right all the time for sure. Sometimes I am right. They were right with that, or I was right in the translation of that energy. So now what's happening with Mr. T is that he's getting caught up in this same energy that Elon Musk is getting caught up in. And a lot of these other people around media because Elon owns Twitter. We all refuse to call it X. He owns Twitter. So there's this media component that's going to really heat up in 2024, especially because we have a big election. So there's going to be more scrutiny. There's going to be people being called out for lies on the media. The media is going to be held to a higher account because the government, um, and I understand that the government, that we have free speech. So I understand that. They're, they're, I, I get it. But there, there's a fine line, even in the free speech, there's a fine line in what they're going to allow and they're going to start going after. And, and so, right. That's so that makes sense. Okay. So what they're trying to say is we just talked about how maybe 45 doesn't go down for crimes, but he goes down for civil penalties or monetary things. The energy is going to catch you. You will be removed. You will be imprisoned or, you know, you will pay the price, karma. You will pay the price. If we, if the, if, if it doesn't work out that the criminal courts can't reconcile whatever you did as criminal, then they'll reconcile it as civil or they'll rec reconcile it as punishable through the court of public opinion. There's no escape. That's why I think I'm doing this video because I'm like, why am I doing this video? Because there's no escape. I want you guys to understand. Back to the 100 arrows. Some of you are like, what the hell is this woman talking about? Well, if you're a long time viewer, the spirit guide said there's going to be 100 archers with 100 arrows. 95 are going to miss. They said this almost two years ago because they wanted to help you guys understand justice is not going to come packaged the way you want it to come packaged, but it's going to come. 95 arrows miss. That leaves 96, 97, 98, 99, 90, and 100. That leaves more arrows. 
So don't worry if Bonnie Willis, and I think she's going to be fine. She didn't do anything criminal. However, this is a distraction. This is a distraction we did not need. We did not need this. We don't want to give them anything more to use in their distraction cannon fodder of media. You know, media. the media just can't even know which way is up right now. So even if Fonnie Willis goes out, even if um, somebody else goes out, somebody else comes in, Alvin Bragg is coming in with new charges. Don't worry. There's arrows that are going to take these people out. It's the same thing with Musk. It's the same thing with Tucker Carlson. It's the same thing with the media. If we have to, obviously, abide by freedom of speech, we can certainly understand, the spirit guides are saying, that there was a time when we had the fairness doctrine, which was a little different, but it said, you know, there has to be fairness in the reporting. Well, that went, that went bye-bye. And it's the same thing with how we banned AR rifles. And then that went bye-bye. These people that want to say the Constitution is written in concrete are wrong. Because 2A was affected. We banned assault rifles. You cannot go out and buy a bazooka. What defines gun? Let's go back to the original definition of gun. Come on, we can parse this. 2A was written when muskets were used. We can parse this in a court of law. This is a living document. What does freedom of speech mean, truly? What does it mean? Where is libel? Where are some of these other things that are exceptions to the freedom of speech? You guys, this is our playground. This is what we're going to be doing in 24 and 25. We're going to be going back and saying, you know what? You can't do this. You can't say this. You cannot use this gun. These are the changes you're looking at. And then if karma, because she's here, y'all. If karma can't get you in the court of law, on a criminal or in a court of law on a civil. She's going to get you in the court of public opinion. That's what's going to happen. This is kaput. It's done. It's finito. We are not going to be putting up with this in 24 or 25. We are dealing with it right now. You're going to see it. I can point out some things to you. Santos, gone. McCarthy, gone. These people are leaving. Tucker Carlson, gone. Elon Musk, probably gone. Why? Why? Well, because Elon Musk has opened up Twitter to right-wing supremacist saying it's freedom of speech. Yet that is going to hurt his brand of Tesla. And the shareholders are going to be like, we don't want all of this. There's a reason why businesses try to stay out of politics as much as they can, as far as the public knows anyway. You know, they slide them donations in there, right? But they don't they don't advertise it. You don't see a big business person coming out very often and saying, I'm Republican, I believe this, or I'm Democrat, I believe that. They do it at their own risk. Ben and Jerry's is the one that did came out as a Democrat or as liking more democratic policies. Penzies, spices, if you're not familiar with them. Great spice company makes no bones about the fact that they're very liberal. You do pay a price for this. When you take sides, you pay a price. So Tesla, the, the, the I see big problems with this company 
with him at the helm of it. it the public is not going to put up with this. And I'm literally going to end this video. This is going to be a very quick video. I'm going to end this video with this thought, with this idea for you. I didn't watch the Grammys. Don't ask me why. But I didn't watch the Grammys. And I got to tell you, I wasn't sure how I felt about Luke Combs doing a rendition of Tracy Chapman's song. I've heard it. I've listened to it. It's okay. I, I don't know how I felt about it. I saw interviews with him where he said, I and, and country radio stations have said, it's interesting how he sang the part from her perspective as a woman. Luke Combs, country music star, look him up, sang the song as a woman. Okay, I want you to stick with that for a minute. Please, just stay with me, because this is important. He's a country music star. Not typically, you know, liberal Democrats. And he said, I had to stay true to the lyrics. I loved this song. My dad put a cassette play in the cassette and I heard this song. I heard this song growing up and I've loved it ever since. And I have to stay true to it. Okay, that's one thing. Number two, of course it won an award, but here they are on the stage at the Grammys. And he is literally deferential to her. Big old country boy. Big, big old country boy. Deferential to Tracy Chapman. Who's been out of the music scene since 2008. And is a black woman. A gay black woman. Now here's the country music people. He's singing as a woman. Does that make him trans? Does that make him? Is he trans? Is he weird? You guys, those two people on the stage last night or the other night give me hope. That gives me hope. He's up there saying, this is how it's done, y'all. This is how it's done. It really does give me hope that all of this strident, anti this, anti that, us against them, is just rhetoric from a few loud mouse. And those few loud mouse are going to be taken out. Harm is here. Criminal, civil, or the court of public opinion. I don't care how it's done, but I'm telling you, it's coming. We're changing. We do not want this. There's a bigger we that the media is not paying attention to. These Republicans have gotten in through gerrymandering. They do not represent their, their district. They don't. And now we, the people, are going to be demanding that we're represented, that we don't want to be divided. We don't want to be divided. There it was. Luke Combs. Tracy Chapman, we don't want to be divided. We're not going to be divided. We're not going to put up with this. And this energy is going to clean itself up one way or the other. Choose your adventure. Choose your own adventure. Choose your own option. We don't care. But we're not going to put up with it. Because if the criminal or the civil doesn't take care of it, we will. If you like this video, leave me a comment. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I'm Susan Lynn. I'm a psychic and a medium. Take really, really good care of yourselves. We'll talk again real soon. For entertainment purposes only.